Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms Records Mode Let's Play as Kong Rong. This should be a very solid episode for us, I think, as we are very much on the front foot, applying pressure upon our enemies and uh, trying to bring an end to this war as quickly as possible. This might be the last or second last session of this war, depending on how many battles we fight and what goes down, but it's feeling like it's pretty close, ladies and gentlemen. Feeling like it's pretty close. Uh, seeing all your comments and all, some really great uh, thoughts, questions, and suggestions. I will try and address them as they come up as we go through things. Uh, but first things first, I just want to mention that as always, if you have been enjoying this series, then please do not hesitate to leave those likes and comments down below. I look at those numbers to really get an understanding of what people would like to see more or less of as time goes on, and it really helps me make those types of decisions. So thank you for those of you that uh, let me know. And uh, it's always great as well to just read through the comments because there's always some good suggestions. In fact, somebody pointed out it's almost like uh, like a conversation with the council trying to figure out what everybody thinks. Oh, you know, what's going on? What's everyone feeling like? Uh, but then ultimately the decision rests in my hands. I really like that's kind of exactly the, the vibe I get sometimes as well. I really like that uh, analogy. Um, but yes, uh, we're, we're, we're sticking with this war. And many of you agree with that um, call because... I mean, we've got the upper hand now, and we have to push, we have to eliminate the potential future threat, because let's not forget that they have vassals. And uh, it's not just these handful of, what, what is it, like six cities, I think? One, two, three, four, five, six cities. It's not just that, it's also all their vassals, so we have to move quickly. And Gongsun Zen, I believe, is still at war with, uh, yeah, Han Fu, Zhang Yan, and Huang Qinxiu. They're still at war. Um, I know someone mentioned they thought they saw a peace treaty that was between Gongsun Zen and Gong Lan Shu last session. Anyway, uh, Gongsun Zen, actually, I do need to speak with you. I do need to speak with you. Let's go ahead and change your target to this one, please. Because if I can get Gongsun Zen to move in here towards the fishing port and maybe eliminate this army, that would be extremely handy. Because uh, what I'm going to do is move Zheng Jiang to the large city of Bohai. And we're going to take it. We have to be really aggressive right now. So Zheng Jiang is going to take that large city. And uh, Hong Rong is actually going to move down towards this farmland. I'd move him towards the city as well. We can do it this turn. But unfortunately, the city has walls and all. And we don't have any trebuchet or anything to push in aggressively. And I do believe the retreating army actually retreated towards the uh, farmland here. So just going to keep that in mind in terms of trying to eliminate that army as well. Uh, so yeah, that's the play over there. Over here... I think we're going to still stick around at Shangdang and uh, Shangdang, Shangdang, not sure, uh, not sure really, uh, but uh, yeah, I think we're going to stay here, it's a dangerous place to stay, but I don't want to force march back to this copper mine, like what I could do is I think the army's kind of retreated back there, what I could do is I could hide in like these woods or something and stay in uh, like ambush stance or something, but no, I think I'll stay over here. Use the town's defenses. Uh, maybe even you know, maybe even repair the town. That maybe wouldn't be a bad idea either. You know, might 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 help. Might help. No, we'll not waste all of our money, but we'll do at least that. That's to help our income from. Yeah, you know, let's do that as well. And you know what? No, I don't like that population reduction. Uh, I might want to demolish this building. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Cool. We'll fix uh, Shangdang up. A little bit of cost and repair. I am worried about losing that that town. I'm not sure what's waiting for us in the mountains. I know we we heftily defeated our foes here, but Han Fu has two pretty big stacks uh, somewhere over here, I believe, which is another reason for avoiding and ping and going towards Bohai instead. Um, so yeah, yeah, just just gotta just gotta play it a little carefully. Back over here, meanwhile, there is the siege at Dong. Uh, the rebellion here thinks it can overthrow. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to finish that sentence. Um, anyway, I'm going to attack them. I'm going to uh, sally forth and attack them. I don't think it'll be too much trouble. And back at home, everything else is doing pretty well. Otherwise, I think I might want to chase after some more income as well over here with the Dock Market Depot. Uh, because not only does it give us more income from commerce, it also gives us more trade influence. So it might be a good call. There have been some interesting suggestions about uh, what I should do in terms of my public order for long-term gains in terms of uh, buildings, the military buildings, and also uh, incre increasing our garrisons at the same time. Solid suggestions in the comments. I am reading those. I am keeping those in mind. Uh, but right now, I think I, I feel like I still need to focus on my economy a little bit. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just being crazy. Maybe I'm just being crazy. Now, before we dive into the action, one last thing to mention: Deng Jiang's uh, trebuchet has been named. 
Uh, there were a lot of great suggestions. The one I went with ultimately was the Mandate of Hell. Balances out the Mandate of Heaven. It, it's a very, like, I love it on so many le uh, levels. I can totally imagine Deng Jiang walking over to Buddy over here and just being like, Listen, you know that trebuchet of yours? I'm calling it the Mandate of Hell. And, you know, I mean, we don't have to. We could, we could, we could, we could do it your way, but then I'd have to cut your head off. And then kind of like chuckling, like laughing a little bit, and everybody kind of like laughing, but knowing that she might be serious. Oh, my wife, how I love her. Um, but yeah, so Zheng Jiang had that trebuchet name, the Mandate of Hell, because it goes against, you know, the grain, which is, again, she's the Bandit Queen. I love it. Thank y'all for those name suggestions. Let's keep them coming for other times. We hit rank 10 for units, like these guys are about to, for example. Um, but yes, I think it's time to kick off the action, or do we perhaps... Hmm. Let's look at the reforms first. Now, again, I was asked, well, how come I haven't focused on any military reforms? They'll come soon enough. They haven't been my focus. My focus has been my economy. We got thrust into this war. Remember, I'm trying to play tall still, but I got forced into this war, and I can't just peace out of it like a fool. I still have to uh, get my gains. So we'll eventually get military markets and uh, retainer armies uh, because I want to get the six bureaus of bureaucracy for that extra admin position um, and that extra satisfaction for commanders as well. But... That's a couple of steps. Right now, I need to focus on this thing over here. The state monopolies will give us plus 15% income from all sources. But to get there, we first have to get the Office of Arts and Crafts. I think it's probably a good idea. We can also check some options over here. See if maybe uh, we want to consider some of these. Like, I mean, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is this? How far away is that? Oh, that's really far away. Gotta get, uh... I get the Sino Roman embassies as well as the diplomatic missions as well. Well, we've already got this. That's quite a few steps away. We also have the mines over here. You need the same thing. Oh, you need this. 30% income from commerce. This is locked because we don't have a school anywhere, which maybe I should fix. Or public teachers, sorry. Maybe I should fix that. All right, well, for now, though, we're going to stick with the Office of Arts and Crafts so we can get to this plus 15% in the next, what, five turns, I think? Not a problem. Not a problem. So that's reforms taken care of. We do have a general that's leveled up as well. Deng Yan over here. Mm, his resolve is very close to tipping over, so I might want to chase after this. And that increases armor for all spear infantry, which is basically all he has. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Increase his bodyguard size as well. They don't need running speed. They need to be able to stand steady. They don't need guerrilla deployment either. Though, if he has guerrilla deployment with his spears and we've got guerrilla deployment here for all the cavalry, that would be an amazing combination. Anyways, no, no, no. We're going to stick with champion. By that, so close to being legendary in that stat as well. But, I'm wondering actually, before we head on down, if I would want to replace the G militia here with the uh, spear guards. Can't wait to get uh, heavy spear guard are around the corner, so to speak. We just hit level four. We just hit level four. The ways to go still. I'm wondering if we upgrade them now or if we wait. Because if I replace them, I swap them. Don't know exactly what number of individuals I'll get. But it's a far better unit. It drops rather significantly, actually. Alright, we'll just do the one. Or we could do both, because we do have the G Militia from here. Putting one on either side. We'll just do the... Uh, we'll just do the one for now. Sorry, that was a lot of indecision. Um, the reason why I'm doing it now is because we're about to go into enemy territory. We won't be able to recruit from there. Also drops their rank. I don't know if that was... The, you know what? Go big or go home, right? Go big or go home. We'll go with both. Now I'm wondering, do I dedicate myself down here? Oh, hello. Why can I... Was I blind earlier? I don't remember being able to see these guys. I... What are... I'm not sure. I'll take it. I'll take it. Not going to complain. Oh, you know what? We can actually swap these guys out as well. Swapping these guys out should, in theory... Do that for me. Excellent. I've got money right now. Now's the time. Oh, you know what? We can't actually get the Jan Sword Guard here. 
What about cavalry? Swap them in for 710. It's the same unit. I don't need to do that. This is an upgrade at least. Yeah, we're fine. Now hold on a second. You've upgraded as well. You already got that legendary resolve. I could give him champion as well. We got to trust differently here. Let's see. You got spears. You got spears for days. The other thing I need to consider also is that these guys are, hopefully after this war is over, these guys are going to end up as uh, administrators and stuff. Oh, you know what? Scare is... Yeah, let's go with that. These guys are going to end up as administrators. Let's get scare. All right. That's all taken care of. The first order of business before we move down, the first violent order of business, I should say, is uh, involves Dong. Dong and De Gong. We're going to smash De Gong with the Dong. Oh god, there's so many of them running through my head right now. I should stop while I'm ahead. We're going to fight this one, though. Pyrrhic victory is unacceptable. We want to maximize the damage output, but at least the game thinks it'll be a Pyrrhic victory. That means we just have to play smart and, and win. Let's do this. All right. This is not going to be a problem. I was actually a little worried that they were going to hide in the trees and stuff, but that looks like not the case. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not going to stay hidden over here. In fact, I'm going to expose myself over here. I'm going to let my cavalry ride through the trees over here. So let's go ahead and get that set up. I find it funny that our G infantry captain uses a G while these are actual spear guard. Anyway. Fine, let's go ahead and line up over here. Sounds good enough to me. Get the archers back over here. Square, because I like it like that. Set up right. Too bad no fire arrows or anything. But, alright, we're good. You guys are good as well. This is a fine spot. I mean, I could push them up a little bit, I guess. There we go. So I want to move my cavalry up. God, this game is so beautiful. I mean, come on. Are you kidding me? Look at how beautiful this is. Um, so we're going to move up to over here. Move our army up as well. Fire away. Hopefully bait them out and then come in for rear charges. Shut down their archers. No problem. Let's not overcomplicate this. Let's begin. And get you moving up right away. Again, I'm going to march them up though. want to make sure we're not wasting our energy. And it actually looks like they are moving forward as well. Fools. Fools. And some of you mentioned, uh, many of you mentioned actually that you like when the cinematic shots come through, so I will keep them coming. Uh, I won't be too gratuitous with them, but you know, every once in a while you get a cool moment like this as our cavalry marches forward through the trees, preparing to lay ambush the rebellion forces. And you can see off in the distance all the leaves in the wind. Oh, and there are their banners. Oh my god. <laughs> this game sometimes. I swear to god. Alright, archers, you're almost ready to fire. These guys do not have block chances. So let's get rid of the swords first, because the swords are scary for our spears. And then we'll fire on their generals. And we can just stay put over here. We'll wait until their generals maybe push forward. It's a veteran and a healer, so I don't like that. Fire over here. Hope we won't creep up too much. Alright, firing away. It should be good. Oh, yeah, very good. Okay, the general's coming through as well. Focus on this guy instead now. These guys might actually break already. Uh, one of the generals is staying behind. I don't like that. Okay, we're firing over here. Can we get these guys to give up real quick? All right. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's focus up there. At least we have a bit more of a positive situation over here. Let's get... Uh, Ufu down over here. Not sure how to pronounce that correctly, so I apologize. Oh, hello. Opening. Ooh, this isn't good. You got clever over here, buddy. Yeah, they're taking a lot of damage. Cavalry coming through. Let's go. Good. Our spears are right here. Fire over here instead. Okay, in we go. Like golden hour. In we go. Death and destruction to the foolish rebellion. Oh, what a charge. Firing way up over here. Is their general dead? No. They might be responding. No, they're not responding. 
Yeah, I think uh, this has been taken care of. Get out of here. All right, come on. Some good shots coming through. Gonna pull away. Let's get a charge up there. Try and eliminate those archers. He's going to give up soon, isn't he? And our front line is still holding. Pretty low on ammunition right now. Oh, hello, swords. Oh, that was a quick turn and shoot. Yep, yeah, there's the surrender up there. Fire up there. Pull you up. Come on, buddy. Give up. Just give up. But while you're ahead. These guys have shattered, I think. Men are out of ammunition. That's not good. Pull you back. Try and keep this guy in range. This is not so bad. You can go in for some rear charges. Maybe break these guys. In fact, you know what? On the top of the rear charges. Come in for some. Ah, he's back. back. You will wait. A nice rear charge over here. That'll break these guys, I think. How you like this? There we go. They're gonna break. Our spears are right here. Gotta brace and then dive in when you can. Can I get him from behind? Keep falling back, please. Okay, let's pull off to the side. Fire up this way. High arcing shots maybe. Shots, maybe. Alright, these guys are giving up. Get a nice rear charge over here. Hold these guys in place. I want to crush this rebellion once and for all. Down here, down here. Well, there's the victory. Nice and easy. Let's get a good smashing charge in there. Come on. Turn around and charge. We're chasing. Send you chasing as well. Why not? Don't want them to survive. I mean, even if they do, we'll be fine. They've taken a much worse beating than I have. Okay, we're going to speed time up. We're going to chase. Just for a bit, folks. Just for a bit. Some of these units I'd like to limit a bit harder, I guess. More so than their generals. The generals have taken a bit of a beating, though. Quite a bit of a beating. Alright, come on, let's go. 49 becomes 38. 24, okay, good enough. Oh, did we just wipe the unit out by mistake? And I'll take it. I don't mean by mistake as much as I mean I wasn't going to waste that. Oh, yep, that was another one. Damn, shouldn't let their generals get away. These guys back here. Those archers will be back to die another day, I guess. These ones won't, though. Yeah, the generals are getting away. Well, I'll claim the victory. Take it. Nice and decisive, just the way I like it. Uh, there's 203 left over. Uh, they won't be back anytime soon. And even if they are, we'll, we'll fend them off. We'll fend them off. All right, this was good. This was an important victory because I was worried that the uh, battle at Dong was going to be a little bit harder. I'm lost in I was worried this was going to... Ooh, hello. Uh... Uh, no, you're a rebel. You're a rebel, Dagong. You must be gone. Sorry, I have to channel my, um... Got Pilgrim there. We're going to take the Ransom. We didn't take too much damage. We'll, we'll, we'll take that. Money, let you run away. Barely alive. But yeah, this was an important victory because um, now I know I can move Kong Rong in this direction. Earlier I was a little worried that I'd have to pull him back, but now I know that I can push. We have some more options here as well to make more money. God knows we've got money to spend. Plus 200 income and reduction of corruption or plus 400 income and it unlocks industrialists. I mean, yeah. It takes eight turns to build, so might as well get started on it, right? Sounds like a huge step up. 
All right, feels good to be spending money on the right things again, on development and prosperity. Okay, so Kong Rong, we're gonna cautiously move you down first. There's no way we can set up an ambush, eh? 25% means this is the farthest we can go. So let's start by, start by heading over to like, let's start by heading over to here. Okay, let's do this. Head over to here. Oh, I'd really like to see him. Thing is, I, if I set up an ambush... Pointless. I, I was just wondering if I could bait them out or something. Alright, you know what? No. We're gonna pull back a little bit, because in case the two Han Fu generals are somewhere here, ready to strike, I wanna pull back a little bit at the same time. Just get us over to here, let's say. Unfortunately, not replenishing or anything, but... Once we take the farmland, it won't be a problem. Yeah, we'll keep you there. Alright, this is the big one as well. Uh, Deng Jiang. See, we can either hit the small regional city here or the large city up there. I think I have to hit the large city. Just because I'm worried that uh, those Hanfu generals are in this area. So, we're going to move up to here. Dong Sun Zan, let's just double check. I've given you that as the target. Yep, excellent. Off we go. Up we go. Uh, yes, I'm ready to commit to this. And we're going to fight it right away. Close victory, says the game, so that's good and helpful. But we're going to fight it ourselves. We have to minimize our losses. They will have walls, towers, all that nonsense. Thankfully, we do have our trebuchet and the mandate of hell itself. Should be a wondrous time. Um, yeah, it's going to look roughly like this, I think. Roughly. Going to fight this one, folks. Let's do it. All right, hopefully the aggression here pays off because, uh, I, uh, again, I didn't want to wait for sapping or anything because we have to push fast right now. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning, but we have to push fast. Also, this is beautiful. Um, this is really beautiful. Got a couple of ways to come in from. Where are their barricades? Got one up there. One up there. Yay. I think I know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Alright. Here's the play, folks. Here's the play. We are going to get set up over here. We're going to stick to this side. We're going to destroy massive chunks of this wall segment. And then... And then... Oh, I could really use some fire arrows. <laughs> Would have been really helpful. No, okay, okay. We're going to destroy massive chunks of this wall section over here. Yeah, I think that's the one that needs to go. Or... Look at the range on these towers. Okay, you know what? No. Oh, this one will be able to strike in either way. Oof, the coverage. Your fire... Okay. Ah, okay. Scary. A bit more confident earlier. Still feeling pretty good. I mean, we could try and go... over here instead, but then that's a huge... Maze to go through now. We're gonna we're gonna take the head-on approach. Uh, we're gonna fire with our tower or with our towers with our trebuchets to take down these wall sections so we can march on through. And as we're marching through, our trebuchets are going to fire away at these towers as well to destroy them because they are also very scary. The, the towers are the scariest part of this whole ordeal. This tower over here, we're going to try and capture because it'll actually be able to assist us by firing in this general direction, so that'll be helpful. And the fort tower over here, hopefully we're able to march through very quickly and capture it. So that's the plan. That's the plan. That's what we're going to set up for. Uh, and I think we'll have the range for it. Let's figure this out here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so first things first. Let's go ahead and position you... A bit more over here, I think. Right? We're going to start with a regular shot. It's uh, it's more accurate, I believe. Yeah. The, fl the flammable round is less accurate, but we're going to start using the flammable round when we're firing at these interior towers. Use the fire to help us a little bit. Uh, that'll be good and helpful. Okay. Um, so standard rounds here. Regular shot. Or <laughs> burning shots back there. Regular shots. What's, what's become of me? Um, then we've got our swords. Now, they do have their shield wall option. Because these guys have this option. 100% range block chance. I'm wondering if I'm going to quote-unquote waste time with that. Or if I'm just going to uh, rush down. 
Because there will be arrows and stuff as well. Okay. Loose. You guys at the back over here will bring up the rear, form up. They will move slowly. They can't uh, run, unfortunately, but it's fine if they arrive a little bit later. I might switch it off as we get closer and once, once we've captured some of the towers and stuff. So that's all good. Our generals and our cavalry will have to play a very safe game here. A very safe game. They're not going to be allowed in until the towers have been taken care of, I think. As much as Zhang Jiang might hate that, we need to be patient here. And in fact, I think I'm going to... Yeah, you know, this should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine coming in from that angle, I hope. Now, all of our ranged units will be set up like so. We might actually send them forward to eliminate enemy archers. We could actually set them up like here. Wait and see where the enemy archers are and then fire accordingly. That's an option too. I don't hate that option. I don't want to lose too many of them. Or our, our repeating crossbows, though. These two, let's pull you back there. Because they're not going to be helpful in this first phase anyway. They'll they'll arrive later. Um. Okay. Whoops. Sorry. There. Whoops. There we go. Sorry. Finger placement was off. No more fire at will. I want to make sure I'm in charge. And you, up over here, Zheng Sui. Hey, let's begin. This should be pretty good. I'm excited. I'm excited. Alright, separate orders to fire at separate sections. Let's begin. Oh, hello. Alright, gonna fire on some archers to kick things off. We're gonna get some cinematic shots to kick things off. Here we go. Did you see that guy get flicked off the wall? And uh, that, some cavalry took some damage as well. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Let's keep the hits coming. There we go. Now they're starting to get worried. A couple more hits should do the trick. Really need these walls. I can't waste too much ammunition. Come on. There we go. Oh my god, that unit... Alright, hold on. No time to waste. Fire over here. You. Climbable rounds up over here. Need a bigger wall segment. Oh, misses. Misses all around. That's not good. Where are we? Here we go. Give me some good hits. Come on. Seriously? We're missing? Need some hits, folks. Need some hits. We are running out of ammunition. There we go. Hey, hold your fire. Oh my god. You flammable shots back over there. Ah, that didn't catch fire. Fire damage used to be at 100%. Alright. Alright. Oh my god, we can't keep missing like this. This is not good. Get more hits in. Alright. Okay, so that one... Can stop firing there. Let's fire over here instead. That should now burn. There we go. There we go. Good hit over here. 100%. 100%. We're about to catch fire too. Watch the city burn. <laughs> Jung Jang's methods. Oh, yeah, there we go. Getting some good hits. Are you on fire? Are you on fire proper? Almost, almost. Gotta be 100% for the fire to stay alive. But look at that. Hours going down. Almost. Oh, you know what? Hold your fire. Now we can fire a bit more freely. Because these will all burn down. There we go. That one's been neutralized. This one's been neutralized as well. 
Uh, I could just destroy this tower rather than capture it. Sure. One volley only. <laughs> that was not the uh, efficiency I was expecting. Okay. Okay. Uh, drop their archers, maybe? Yeah. Oh, they're archers. Well, okay, destroy their gates. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Here we come. Uh, that does not seem to be targeting their gates. Ah, we're out of ammunition. Fair enough. Okay. I mean, sorry, that doesn't seem to be targeting their archers. It's okay, it's okay. I did a lot of work, though. So we're done. Let's go ahead and pull you... You're fine where you are. We got some uh, archers up here that worries me. Ooh, these archers are pulling down. Now might be the chance for our cavalry to go through, actually. Alright. Move swiftly. Cavalry. Now is the time to go. They've pulled off the walls. It's open. Need to move this way though, because that tower is still very much able to fire, so I'll stay out of its reach. Gotta move you up as well. Try and fire at these archers. You lot coming up this way as well. That gatehouse is still trouble. Now let's go. Go, let's go, let's go. Loosen up. Not waste the advantage we've given ourselves. Oh, alright, our archers are firing away. Archers are firing away quite nicely. In we go. Good charges, decent charges. Like, I gotta stay careful with those spears right there. Turn you around. Turn you around as well. Found the cavalry. Alright, we are in. We're in, ladies and gentlemen. And here we come. Go through the gates, please. Through the gates. Go however. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Just go get in there. Alright, good work. Cavalry's giving up. Here are the spear guard. Charge in the spear guard, please. Charge away from here. Tighten up. Let's pull back. Go. Okay, taking the gatehouse. Excellent. These guys are moving up this way. We're actually able to shift in over here. Do they have anything over here? Nope. Looks like we're good. Those archers need to be taken care of, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's get a rear charge in the spear guard here. Teach them a lesson in defending their homes. Uh, excuse me. I said get a charge, not a weird dance. Come on. Come on. Push up there. Get you up here. Oh, that's problematic. These spears are a little scary. Rear charge or side charge. Let's get you over here. You back. We're coming in here. Get charge over here. The old break. Are you back? After their tower, what tower? Tower was there to capture. They're giving up. Yep. Charge in here. So good charge over here, and then we can pull away. You guys out. Oh, what I'm talking about. Zhang Zhang, you would do this, wouldn't you? But you'd perhaps go up this way instead because you're smart. Chase. 
Okay, good push over here. City is unfortunately on fire. Taishir Tzu is making sure these archers don't return. The city is ours. Victory is ours. There we go. Oof. In we go. So I just want to get that charge. I also wanted the poetry of Zheng Zheng over here. Come on, give me to, give me to my queen. Right there, I can see her. I can see her. Wasting my epic shot opportunity here. Yeah, not able to cycle up to her quickly enough. Fair enough. You get my point. This is totally what she would do. Just right into the city. Be like, yep, this is my city now. Excuse me, you're in my shot. There we go. Oh, oh. There it is. There it is, folks. There it is. I needed to win this one. So glad that worked out. Decisive victory is ours. Oof. I was just worried that it wasn't going to go smoothly enough. Because of towers and walls. Like, I know it's like, oh, look at that pitiful army. But towers and walls. Alright, that was good. We're going to just occupy it. Need that faction support. Don't want more public order issues and stuff. This is good. What isn't good, though. What isn't good. What concerns me is that she might move over here and lock me in place. And stop my replenishment. So I'm actually wondering if I want to pull away from the city a little bit. Use the Forge March stance. However, that will reduce my replenishment as well. It gives me the option to pull away. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. Is if this army comes down, it will be a fully replenished army with a lot of range. You know what? Yeah, it's a lot of range, actually. Uh, we, we might be fine. We might be fine if they come towards us. Anyways, so that's good. That's good. The Zheng Jiang method of setting things on fire worked. Um, we're waiting over here. Over here is the tension. I'm actually now tempted to go out and crush this army. It would be a dumb move, wouldn't it? Dang Yan's going to be back next turn. Okay, I could go crush the army and then come back and, 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 and stick back in the town. Just to remove another piece of the puzzle, right? Or they'll run away. And we'll get just a little too far away. Okay. Good. Uh, that's, little War Games have always had that weird issue, haven't they? Okay, well, he can probably hit uh, me, which I don't like so much. It's okay. At least I've scouted out a bit more over here as well. Anyway, maybe not the best move. Maybe that wasn't the best move, but hey, it's the move we made. It's the move we made. I can get this for some more income from commerce as well. Got the money, eight turns. Or we can actually consider our public order situation a little bit. As you, as many of you have been suggesting I do. I'm wondering where I should do it. This is still going to happen. All right, cool. Let's, let's go ahead and upgrade you. Have some money set aside. Have very little money set aside. You know what? That makes me uncomfortable. Too low. We're going to wait. <laughs> We're going to wait. You make money to spend money, but sometimes you got to save money. Oh. Would have been helpful over here. You. Wait, what are you? Eavesdropper? That sounds really weird. To have an eavesdropper assigned to your wife. But it's okay. Now I'm going to have a bodyguard assigned to my wife instead. He doesn't seem too happy about that. She preferred the eavesdropper. What was going on between the two of you? Uh, more resolve over here. Okay, um... Gotta do a little bit of signing, especially because some people over here are very upset. You're, he's upset. You know, I could give you a follower. Get you more resolve. Not gonna give you happiness, but... I think you need it. This guy is... Oh, this guy's actually not too unhappy. Good. Cool. Leave that as it is. Um, what else? I'm wondering if I want to invoke the council. I don't think it's a good call right now. You know what, actually? I could invoke the council because next turn we're going to make a lot of money and then we can spend that money on making them happy, however it might be. So let's go ahead and invoke the council. 
You will rise against the blah, 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 crush the uprising at Dong. I mean, I almost did it. I almost did it. Oh, that'd be super helpful. What else have we got? Another one with the same rebellion. Oh, okay, well, hopefully they'll come back to the city. That'll give us support from peasantry. And then this one, strong economy. Construct a building from the following chain, grain storage. Do we have any free slots anywhere? I know we have one over here, or we're going to. Grain storage. Goddamn. Goddamn, needs to be a small city. Well, that's annoying. Um, we'll find a spot for it. We'll find a spot for it. Okay. That's the turn, though. Let's see what the AI does. You know what I could do? Real quick. Oh, it says make this work. They're not saying never. They're going to want some cities or something, aren't they? Yeah. They want Bohai, which I just took. They want the farmland at Hene. Henei. Henei. They want the city of Dong. That's never going to happen. And they want the city of Pingyuan. No, that's way too much of my economy. Hmm. Seems they're not ready for peace yet, then. As much as I'd like to do that. I mean, they'd become a vassal. It'd be an end to this war. We'd surrender a lot, though. This farmland, this city, that city. We'd be basically pushed back to this side of the river, except for Pingyan, the salt mine. But no, nah, this is like too much of our money comes from these places. No, 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 no. We'll give them more time. They'll soften up. Keep bringing them that uh, Zheng Jiang method. Uh, 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 no. Maybe by hitting end turn, they've changed their mind a little bit, and now they'll be vassals more easily. Let's try this in earnest here. I will give you... Buddy. And I got a clay rat as well. I'll throw that rat in. Um, they've got a lot of food and they've got some money. Oh, so now that's going to matter. Even if I give them all of my food and offer them all of my money. 3103. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's see, if we do 2,000, okay, the 1940 seems to be the cap value over here, so 1940, and then if we give you a one-time payment of 1940 as well, I'm making a big difference. Gonna want some territory. Okay, what territory would I be willing to give them? They could take the town at Shangdang. Not gonna give them the farmland. Uh, and you know what? They can take the city at Bohai. It's not enough. They need at least twice as many territories. That's just not going to happen. I mean, I can take more from them and then offer it back to them. But let's cancel that. No. Not getting it. Ho oh, ho ho. Big words. Alright, in she comes. Oh, god damn it. Oh, this changes things. Oh, god damn, this changes things for sure. Um, that's a war of independence, folks. I wasn't expect. Ma Teng wasn't... Was he this grumpy? I don't remember him being grumpy. Treaties with our enemies. What treaties with which enemies? Oh, this isn't good, folks. Ma Teng is big. Got army. We're equivalent in strength. Or similar, I guess, but... He's at war with a couple people, and his wars will carry on. He'll just leave me to rot. I needed him to apply pressure on this side. Yeah, this worries me, folks. This might change how I approach the peace situation with uh, 
with uh, Huang Qinxu. God damn it, Ma Tang. And he's making progress. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Good, good, good. Yes, 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 good. Hit them. Where it hurts. Oh, that rebellion, the turban, the yellow turban rebellion's coming back at me. That's good. Okay, independence declared from Kong Rong. Yeah, mm-hmm. A lot of people on my side, so that's good and helpful. And Jen, trending low as well. I might need to put a stop to that. Quickly. All right, so Buddy here is defending the farmland with the garrison. Over here. I feel like I might need to pull back. Actually, this will give us walls. Okay, if we do that, how much does it cost to upgrade? 3,000 for instant construction. Okay. Okay, okay. A battle I can win over here, but that won't give me much money. Oh, just ought to resolve this one, I think. We better win this, easy. Decisive victory, we better crush them. Okay, good. So that's a mission completed as well. A little bit of money. Okay, take the ransom, we need the money right now. Mission success, support from artisans, excellent extra income. Okay, cool. Oh right, we completed two missions. Good, good, good. Right, I forgot that those doubled up. Ooh, a rare talent. The war brings chaos and disharmony to China. There is glory to be gained in battle all the same. As warriors clash on the battlefield, the victorious cover themselves in glory. One particular warrior excels, a unique talent that you would do well to keep close. Cool. Um, very cool. War coordination. Is this about Ma Tang abandoning me? Wouldn't call that coordination. Ooh, a guard. Instinct and satisfaction. Well, I know someone who's not very satisfied right now. Go ahead and do that. Make him much happier. Every little bit counts. Okay, this is this is interesting. So, hold on. We can actually do this. We're still... How short? 700 short of instant construction. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. The thing is, if I, if I get walls over here, then I can actually pull away from this city, pull down to the copper mine, or even crush this army in battle. Because this army does not have trebuchet or anything. Definitely looking at opportunity in the face here. Gotta make that money. But to make that money is probably by striking this farmland. What's your garrison that you've got that about? Uh, hmm. That's important, though. I need to get the win there. And then over here, we're probably going to sally forth. Did exactly what I expected, Gungs and Zen. We're still buddies, right? Yeah, you're still going over there. Well met, friend. See, that's that's how people are supposed to talk to each other, damn it. Oh, he's going to take him a couple of turns to get down to the fishing port. Do we sally forth before we take any attrition? That seems like the smart move, obviously. Got this pitiful garrison as well. If I was to do this, what does the game say? Close defeat, says the game. It'd be a night battle, of course. Always get scared when I mistakenly click on offer surrender. We have some trees we can hide in to get into their archers, which is very helpful. Our trebuchet can set up over here and fire away from a safe distance, which is also helpful. Definitely an option. Trying to figure out which fight I want to fight. This one. Which is an open field battle. Or or this one down here. Which is going to be a rough... Uh, going to be a rough go. Put it that way. You know what? Let's, let's, let's go with Zheng Jian. Let's go with Zheng Jian. I'm a, this is, you know what? This is her starring episode. Her and her flaming trebuchet, because they don't belong to Zheng Sui. They belong to, to Zheng Jian, let's be honest. So, night battle it shall be. 
Uh, how do I feel about this? Not extremely good, but we'll be fine, I believe. Yeah, let's do this. The battlefield we go. All right, folks. Let's see what the deal is here. Oh, they have a lot of range capabilities. Our reinforcements are arriving from back over here, but they're pitiful reinforcements anyway. They're not going to make much of a difference in this battle. Um, I am the attacker, but they will be charging me because I've got the artillery. For over here, our artillery is just barely able to strike at them. I want to make sure we're able to get these hits in properly from the start. Uh, our cavalry could hide in these trees and head over this way, hide in these trees, and then head over this way, hide in these trees. Okay, so that's probably what we're going to do. So, Zhang Jiang, uh, Tai Shi Tzu, and the cavalry contingent. I wonder if we'll stay hidden. Because, like, they can't possibly see us. Their line of sight has got to be blocked over there, right? Just to be safe. We'll start there. We'll make our way over. Uh, hopefully we'll get them to rotate and go down the hill as we strike at them with our trebuchet. Um, which I think we'll put... Alright, hold on. Let's move everything over here back a little bit. Trebuchet up over here. That range will be devastating to them. We're going to focus on their range units, get rid of their crossbows. Actually, get rid of their archer militia first, perhaps. Warriors of Yi will focus down with our archers and stuff. Okay, good stuff. Got these archers back over here. Uh, I'm going to keep a clear path. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep you there. We're going to keep you here. They'll form up in front if and when we need to. These guys will protect the flank. And these guys will protect this flank. Okay. Move you up. Fire over the trebuchet when the enemy is coming towards us. Um, make sure this is all set up properly. And make sure that... You two are set up properly as well. There we go. Repeating crossbows, meanwhile, we're going to get you to the side here. And hopefully, the enemy comes too close and we can move forward and uh, fire into their backs. That's what I'm hoping for here with the repeating crossbows. Uh, you know what, actually, let's put you on this side. There's a little bit of a mound here. Should give us a better firing angle down to the enemy. Okay, and meanwhile, our uh, cavalry will creep up this way and prepare for a uh, beautiful ambush. A beautiful ambush in the dead of night. Shall we begin? I believe we shall. Flaming shots, of course. Won't have it any other way. Here goes. Go. These shots come through first. Not gonna have as many cinematic shots this battle, I don't think, folks. We can always start with a few. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. These guys are going to lose formation. Don't know how much that's going to help them. Oh, hello, cavalry. Okay. A little bit scarier now. And some good hits down there. Glad I kept myself hidden over here. Prepare to defend ourselves against this. Get up over here. We're firing away safely. Fire over. I keep firing over there. It's a nice clump. I don't know why we would do that, but okay. Get you in position. Hey, okay, archers are beginning to fire away now. Fire back there a little bit. Get you guys to form up. Try and stay safe over here. They're frightened. Fire at the repeating cross. No, actually, fire at the archer militia over here. Okay. So he's firing back there. We're good. Fire at the uh, generals. Fire over here. Try and set those aflame. You ready for this nonsense? Scare these guys off. Alright, these guys actually. 
Here we go. Bait it in. Oh, they're gonna eat these charges. I'm gonna eat some of these charges too, though. Let's pull back. Pull back, get away. Here we go. Cavalry, move in. You back. Fire up here. Going okay. We're not, like, winning as much as I'd like to. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go. And up we go. Didn't time that perfectly. Holding on there. Let's go. Disengage. Let's pull you back over here. Repeating crossbows. Fire up over here. Scare those guys off, please. You fire up over there. You fire up over here. Pull you back first. And we come with the rear charges. Excellent. Hopefully. Pull you out. Send you in. You guys out of there. Charge over here, I hope. Pull you away. Pull you up that way. How are we doing over here? Hanging in there. Let's try and get behind these guys. Let's try and get behind these guys over here as well. Oh, good charge over here, I hope. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Pull up. Running out of ammunition now. Go, let's go, let's go. Let's get you in here. Fire over here. Get you firing up over here. How are we doing? Not as good as I would like, if I'm honest. Go. That's not terrible, actually. Fire up there. Good rear charges over here, I think. Okay, let's pull you back over here. Get you in there. Actually, let's get you out of there. Range fire is hurting us more than it's hurting our enemies. Oh, no. No, no, no. Pull back. What are you doing there? Okay, let's dive in there. Let's dive in there. Pull you back out. Pull you all back out. Get in there. I'm paying as much attention as I should have been. Oh, we're okay, we're okay. We're okay. Get you in here. Swords up in here, please. Get you back out. What are we doing over here? Firing? Barely. Turn you around. Get you over here. Enemies fleeing. Excellent. Go. Put you back towards the spears. Let's try and catch them in the spears. Oh, there we go. Spears are engaging. Excellent. Back here. Dive in there. Finish the Saber Militia, please. Not be a problem here. Excellent. One step closer to victory, I'll say. Pull well, y'all back. Giving up as well. You about to give up too? You're going to try and get through. Yeah, I think they're giving up. Let's go. Swarm them. Some good charges over here. Do the trick. Get charge in there. Alright, destroy that unit. Alright, then get a good charge in here to follow through. Is that a good charge, not a weak charge, please? Bring you around, get you in here. Pull you back. Do you really want to pick this fight, Sima Lang? Really want to pick this fight? Let's go. We lost more than I'd like to, but... We, I mean, we knew it was going to be a tough fight. But fighting this fight might have changed the course of this war rather significantly. Right, over here instead. Get you down there. Keep the spears on Fu Wei over here. Hold them down a little bit, maybe, if we're lucky. Artillery still has some shots left. Took some took some chances with our artillery. 
These guys just running off the field. They took the brunt of the hit. Wait, hold on. That's our mandate of hell. How dare they? Go back. Can't believe they're still willing to fight. Still haven't called it a victory, folks. Mainly because of this guy, I guess. Just give up. Okay, let's form up. These swords have taken a beating. Are you back? How are we doing? Buddy there is gonna die. Oh my god, we've taken a lot of hurt. In fact, if the Hanfu armies come towards us, uh, we'll be in trouble. I don't think we need to keep this chase on. In fact, you know what? You can get some kills in. Why not? Okay. Far away up there. We're good up here. They've all run away like cowards. Like, I think it's just because the game thinks, oh yeah, maybe they'll come back. Warm up. That's right. That's what I thought. Ross was not able to fire. Oh, we'll get some shots in there. Keep chasing. I want him dead. I want him dead. Come on, you can fire. He's in range. There we go. I think. There we go. Yeah, just sit there. Looking pretty. Keep these shots. Ah. Man, they better be back. I better not have lost that unit. That would upset me. Their equipment is still here. Are really just sitting here watching this go down? Alright, here we go. Like a little kill box over here. Oh, are you serious? He's gonna swing away? Guys. Guys, just die. Die or surrender. Pick one. Pick either. I'll be happy either way. And there are reinforcements as well. <laughs> they want to get involved. See if we can slow him down a little bit. Stop firing. There we go. Come on. Come on. Just give up. He's unbreakable. That's the annoying thing. Uh, see that? Uh, where to go? No, that's not. That's the one. Unbreakable. This is dumb. But hey. Good win. And it guarantees that he's going to die because he's not coming out of this alive. A little silly that he won't like withdraw or anything either. Okay. My wife is angry. Not quickly enough. <laughs> Close victory, unfortunately. Not decisive. Yeah, it wasn't my best work. It wasn't my best work. But the Mandate of Hell has survived with a very interesting number. <laughs> 317 kills on these guys, though. Madness. We need some time to recover. That unit might actually be gone for... Oh no, we're fine. This unit, though. Destroyed in battle. Wasn't paying enough attention. Get that ransom. Oh, I wish I could remember the numbers. God damn it, party. Gotta remember the numbers. Okay, we're just gonna take the ransom for now. Too bad we let uh, Hang Tin Xiu survive. Yeah, let's, let's take the ransom. I can chase her down and kill her. That might not be a terrible idea. That might not be a terrible idea at all. Chase her down, kill her, but I think the biggest thing is that down over here, we can actually upgrade and rush the construction and then still have money left over. Uh, and I might want to do that because then, again, we free this army up to crush this army, move up there, and Kong Rong can move in towards this farmland to take that forest. However, there are bigger problems brewing as now Ma Tang is at war with us as well. And Ma Tang has a lot of very big armies and uh, some small ones. 
some big ones. Lots of arches in that one. Lots of G militia in this one. Okay, making myself feel better about the situation. Plus, they're at war with... Um, what is this? Zhang Xianyang. So, hopefully, that'll, you know, play in our favor. And they're also at war with everybody else they were previously at war with. I could see... What does he want for peace? He wants an ancillary and some money. You know what? Kong Rong might be tired of war. Kong Rong might ask for peace here and just get it over with. But uh, for now, though, this is good. This is good. And this is where we're calling it a session, ladies and gentlemen. That last battle took us over that hour mark. Hope you guys have been enjoying. If you have, you know what to do. Drop a like. Drop a comment. Yeah, smash that like button for the uh, Deng Jiang method. Let's call it that. Uh... As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. As I've said countless times, you keep us alive and running smoothly, and I greatly appreciate it. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Till next time. Cheers.